today's food for thought comes from the second chapter of Titus verses 11 through 13, which reads, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. There is a way that we, who are of genuine faith, are to live in this world. You and I, we are to live in fear of God. Moses, he encouraged the children of Israel to learn to fear the Lord. By learning to fear the Lord, they would learn to serve only him and not follow after any other gods. Now, why did Moses encourage them to learn to fear the Lord? Well, as the Lord said it himself, he is a jealous God. And by worshiping any other gods, the children of Israel, they would face his anger. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to face his anger guess what? As Israel was to serve only the Lord, all of us, we are to serve only him. Jesus said to us, love the Lord with all your heart. Jesus, he also said to us that we cannot serve mammon and the Lord. Again, we should serve the Lord in fear of facing his anger. You don't want the Lord to be upset with you. Personally, I don't want to face God's anger. I want to be on his good side. So, one who fears the Lord should live in honor and live in respect of him. You and I, we should live soberly. We should live righteously. We should live godly in this age, in the age of the church. We should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the fear that Christ could come for us the next second. Too often, we, the believer, we act as if Christ isn't coming back. If you say that you believe in him, and you are choosing to live like Christ can't return for the church any second now, that actually says a lot about your faith. So let us do better. We do that by living in fear of God being upset with us. Mm -hmm.